every fairy tale has a beautiful ending but in my fairy tale there is only a beginning life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale we spend our lives searching for a magic door that could transform us the famous author daniel steel once said if you see the magic in a fairy tale you can face the future this fairy tale story is about padar international school reminiscing the past we don't remember days only moments moments since 1927 have become a memory that will live on forever let us unfold before you this cherished fairy tale we have a rich heritage mahatma gandhi the father of our nation was the first president of our trust his motto be the change you want to see in the world this philosophy has percolated the boundaries of podar school dr pavan podar the trustee and his entire family have always kept this philosophy in mind the padar family has carried this vision to the remotest villages of india and spread quality education everywhere taking padar to a brand new level director dr mrs vandana lulla who keeps the vision of the management in mind go big go places Padar is booming and bustling with vibrant energy. The school promotes a learning environment that is beyond comparison. I am Padar and I'm proud of my heritage. Give a thumbs up to our learning environment. The school provides a climate that encourages positive innovation. in implementing the philosophy of the program the ibdp english iop where students deliver their best research topics the activities at podar train all students developing their learner profiles at every stage of school life now you are going to investigate how the food will travel to the intestine We can see the chyme entering the large intestine. Now observe what is happening in the large intestine. Observe, and all the leftovers are still there. Even the water is still in the small intestine. So all the nutrients absorb water. Today we learnt about the intestines. Through this activity, we could actually see how the food was being passed. The club activities promote students' awareness of various issues and builds on students' previous learning experiences and future educational needs. Did you see that? Do you know why this happened? It is because of vibration which produces sound. Today I have developed my media skills which helped me in the field of advertising promoting and creating awareness using visual representation it makes my project work easier it can also help me create websites and collaborative work using emails it is an important skill as today's world is based on technology and is an online age the co-curricular activities develop in students the skills and attitudes of a 21st century learner
this work known as entrapped um it shows how this 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 body this figure mannequin has been entrapped in so much of uh, the material world material world dominated by um industrial materials by uh, synthetic materials um i have used uh, a lot of um uh, metal metal wires metal wires to create a, a skirt like structure It's definitely a pleasure to inaugurate the sixth annual of Bodar International School, and I'm sure that the issues that you raise, the kind of debates that you have, the kind of agreements and disagreements that you will have in the next two days, will develop a lot of your skills. I don't need a bit. Unemployment is one of the five macroeconomic goals. It is one of the major goals all the governments work towards, along with producers, household workers, and the economy. The delegate of USA does acknowledge the importance of a low rate of unemployment in all economies of the world. It leads to a healthier economy with more resources being used. Is your ministry willing to endanger human lives on the pretext of social development? Right to reply. Yeah, accepted. Okay, we've mentioned in our stance clearly that we would support war only if it's the case. We would uh, give funds to defense if it comes to war. Right to follow up. <laughs> accepted. Accepted. Uh, do you think a war can be funded overnight? That you can acquire weapons right the right at the moment the war starts. It's it's a long process which needs to be followed to develop the weapons to train your Possible to use them. So, how, how does your ministry think it's possible that you know one day the ministry plugs up one day? The and this is the rich learning environment that Padar International School provides. Research about the technology of defense, and already updated, updated on all the order. So it's it's not outdated, and, and it won't take that long. School promotes international mindedness on the part of all adults. and the students in the school community the sports day is a time where students run for a cause be it saving the environment mother earth the unveiling of the ICC T20 World Cup trophy at Padar brought a smile to many faces the students are active participants in the learning process the annual day team provides values and respect for all cultures through music and dance All such activities enhanced by cultural diversity develops global citizenship. The IB students involve themselves in various caste activities. मैंने छह बजे उसको अडॉप्ट किया और मुझे लगता है कि पढ़ना बहुत ही जरूरी है. Our aim is to actually give back to policemen who do who do so much work for us. They provide security for us when we when we least expect it. thanking them or showing them gratitude so we're beautifying the walls where they work so they have a pleasant place to work in every day have you ever been to a police station they made you feel so like welcome and like nice so when yesterday i didn't even have to i just like walked in like without feeling scared or like anything. at the beginning it was a little scary because everything you do on the wall is going to be seen by everyone, everyone on the whole road but in the end it was really fun it provides a platform to spread a very Morning. important message of peace We want to get the youth involved with the law enforcement and give back to society and make a change. Thank you for your, I mean, uh, efforts to bring these youngsters close to the social issues. You brought them to the police stations. They painted the walls, dirty walls of the police stations, and those are those pigeons which are flying while passing or juhu chow party chow ki. People watch that pigeons because before that there was message of fear. सदरक्षण आए खलनी करना आए सदरक्षण आए यू ब्रॉट दीज यंगस्टर्स एंड 
painted the walls, making the beautiful message to pass all over the society. Our IBDP students went on a cast field trip to the heart of Palgal district of Thane to discover and cherish their roots. Parents and students take part in an interactive debate on accountability versus liberty. Thus the curriculum provides ample opportunity for student inquiry and presentation of their ideas. Zara taklim to huri hogi aapko aane jane se magar izzat podar school ki bad gai aapke tashreef lane se. Children feel that this is 24 7 monitoring. However, parents feel it is our duty. Uh, first of all, uh, monitoring. It's not monitoring, it is value addition to your life. Second, while just monitoring and just value addition giving, I just observed my daughter talking to someone. Oh, it's just a time pass. <laughs> right? This class is just a time pass. My dear friends, time is not passing. You are passing. Time is eternal. There is a deadline and there is a limit to the time. Correct? So you are passing, you are going. So that's why we monitor, we give you evaluations each and every time. Thirdly, we guide you while monitoring you. It's not that we just curb your activities. Um, since our progressions have just started, my parents were a pain on the TV so that I could not open it and watch TV. but we also want you to learn from our experiences. So balance it, it's not about just making a choice, this or that, do both and do the right thing. So balance it again, and what parents say that's why we need to go to parents because they have had a lot of experiences so they can guide. Parents can give you the freedom, but you must know that everything has some limit. Developing international mindedness celebrating cultural diversity and imbibing morality. The International Evening is a time where the entire school community joins in to get a first-hand feel of local and global cultures. The theme for today's International Evening is The World We Will Inherit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all our assemblies are unique. Students learn values, respect for individuals, cultures, environment and the nation at large. Now how do I sleep when I'm not even tired? I know, I watch my favorite TV show. By observing the assembly on healthy living, I henceforth took a resolution that, would, that I would get up early, never sleep late at night, eat only healthy food, quit junk food and have at least two hours of exercise daily. Honesty is the best policy. Assemblies have changed the way I think. I would never lie and would always speak the truth. Come celebrate the diversity of culture through the multilingual week. Students understand that every culture is unique and each individual is right 
in being different. We have majestic fight forms which are called Kalari Paisal. I am Rajnika. Yes. I knew I was coming on this show before you were even born. <laughs> Festivals come alive. Mission statement. We at Podar truly believe in being tolerant and respectful towards each other's cultures, thus imbibing strong moral values. Time to experience the modern celebration of Janmashtami. That's my birthday, so I landed in Mumbai. <laughs> celebration of the Independence Day. The farewell party is a reminder and appreciation of all the years gone by. Our teachers have um, taken love and knowledge like birds do twigs and leaves to make this a nest for all of us. And for some, it's time to leave that nest. But the wings that you gave us will take us very, very far and we will leave now. Thank you for everything you love. In this fairy tale, the journey of students is endless and boundless. The progress of all the students is celebrated through the graduation ceremony. Come November and it's Children's Day at Padar. Happy Children's Day to all of you. Thank you and happy Children's Day to all of you. A learning objective is... Are you coming sir? Please stand up. Who are you? I can ask you the same question sir. And what are you doing in my shop? I am the principal. There are student leaders who demonstrate pedagogical leadership aligned with the philosophy of the school. Students vote for their candidates in a free spirit of democracy. Post elections, students take their pledge at the investiture ceremony in front of the school community. The best of our it's a time also when parents are updated about the mission, the vision and the philosophy of the school. Give that experience to your children to be able to understand and learn. Fall a number of times and learn to get up and walk on their own. 
Dr. Mrs. Vandana Lulla has created a learning environment where students are supported through varied opportunities to question and think for themselves through the various interactive seminars, workshops on Nutrella, the School of Nutrition. Students are trained to build their own careers. The CIE, CEO Connect, gives students an opportunity to interact with entrepreneurs. But this is a unique opportunity for all of you. You are here in the school for some time, but remember me when you pass out, when you are my age, when you are 10 years, 5 years down the line. And if you are asked which is the day which you will remember the most, I can promise you it will be today. And people like you, who have grown up in an India which is confident and which is ready to take on the world. So it's a good time and space to be in India. And in fact, I would argue that perhaps it's one of the best countries to be in today. But I think it's important to understand why we are where we are. And it's important to understand that therefore the responsibility that it places on our shoulders. And, uh, the first thing is of course what uh, GRD really wanted which is uh, to say that he didn't want India to be powerful. He really didn't want India to be rich. He didn't want India to be a superpower. In fact, he says it very clearly, I want India to be happy. India needs to be reprojected to the world, which I don't think we're really doing that well right now. Um, how do you bridge the disparity between this fantastic India that we have built within ourselves, a self-sufficient India, to an India that can compete on a global scale? There's a lot more to be done to make India more competitive. But I think that the, the, the challenge always has been, and I think it's a real challenge even for the people who make the laws and the people who execute them, is how do you balance this so-called uh, international, uh, in a manner of speaking, conquest of international borders with inclusive growth uh, within the country? Yeah, this, is, this goes to all the members of the panel. Uh, it's related, it's kind of to do with the economy out here. So, um, so far we've seen that FDI uh, as a policy has been a good has been a good thing for um, the Indian uh, economy and the industries etc but uh, for for the uh, lower for the lower um, you know businesses like the small time the small time businesses where um, domestic stuff uh, how will FDI affect it will that affect will that affect Will that affect their growth while, um, you know, speeding up um, other uh, other big companies? Uh... Anish, you said you're seventh grade. Yeah. Uh, can't, run, can't run the company. I think I'm too much wrong. Yeah. I, I think uh, you know you said uh, we are all scared of some, you know, the unknown. Most of the most of the times our fear is unknown. Uh, what happens? But I think. Uh, India is, in my view, a capital scout country. We don't have enough money. More money comes from overseas. It's better for us, which is why FDI is better, because that money doesn't go immediately out. And that money is then put to useful purpose. So in the end, I think uh, it, our small shopkeepers and small businessmen are not going to die because of that. They become part of the chain. Again, I'd like to remind everyone what your, one of your first trustees said. Be the change you want to see. Gandhiji said. And that's how at CII we came together to understand how uh, folks like these uh, CEOs who run uh, successful companies can come and speak to us. The, the India we want is an India full of entrepreneurs. Who, who is an entrepreneur to me? There, there are two kinds of people on this planet. One who sit and criticize darkness, other who sit up and light a candle. An entrepreneur is a guy who sits and lights up a candle. You know? He takes a problem head on, he tries to build a solution and he tries to make a success out of it. You know, you are driven by passion. Passion is your bread and butter. That is what kind of keeps you alive and keeps you going. 80% of the 30 million Indians uh, who, have, who have dengue fever, um, um, they rarely seek health care or um, they, went, they go to the hospitals and they are turned away. The World Health Organization stated that India that India spends less than one percent on public health care. What do you think the government should do to improve health care, including uh, rural India? Two, 
I know of company, various companies, uh, medical companies, which are uh, reducing the cost of various equipment that can go around. They particularly take what GE has done in terms of the portable scanner. Uh, people don't need to go into a hospital for that. You need to go in. There are quite a few companies which have already taken these initiatives, which are moving in. Yes, there's a lot more to be done. But it definitely requires the government to keep encouraging all the companies and individuals and NGOs who are taking the step forward. Uh, I'm a football player. I really love sports. But however, I feel that uh, India doesn't really give the important sports deserves. So my question is to you, Mr. Sanjay Kilosar. Uh, I want you to tell me, do you think uh, India is really giving sports and uh, the uh, importance it deserves? And how do you think it can encourage sports? I mentioned when I spoke up there saying that there's no better time to be in India than now. Because if you look at what's happened in the last, uh, let's say, the last 12 months, uh, it's just not cricket. Look at the amount of money that has gone into developing Kabaddi. Look at the amount of money that's gone into developing football now. Uh, you're going to soon have tennis coming up. So this is just the beginning. The Vedic Maths Workshop. So this is I mean, I'm and the workshop on environment sustainability. <laughs> Workshops on robotics. In this fairy tale, all students are well taken care of. The school has a tie up with world universities. Students are briefed on all aspects of university life so that they take the right and the best choices. Children's safety is our prime focus and every effort is made to provide students with a safe, stimulating and supportive environment. The regular fire drills prepare students well in advance in case of an unforeseen event. The medical inspection room takes care of students' health issues, providing them with all medical and dietary recommendations. It's the IT age and our management keeping the mission in mind of providing quality education and maintaining standards and practices decided on introducing e-books. Go Digital is our fairy tale's new mantra. Training third line coordinators on conducting evaluation of teachers and putting systems in place. There the teachers starting from what the children know to a new context. Always it is known to unknown. Has the teacher done that? That's the first aspect. Second aspect that you will see that when the teacher starts a le lesson, is the teacher clear about her learning object? Enough interactions as she allowed the children to interact, has she used any resources? Trained to track progress of students over time. Observation is when you write in as an observer, what students could do. So you see she put students could demonstrate, students could make connections between plants and human beings as teacher effectively questioned the students. Staff were also trained on result analysis, target setting for students, so that no child is left behind, along with designing an action plan. What is my impact on the student as a head of a school, as a team of coordinators, as a team of HODs, as a team of teachers? How am I impacting the student? student learning. We strongly believe in student learning. In everything that we do, are we making some kind of an impact? Uh, is there a progress? And absolutely whether it is English, Maths, PE, Music, Art, at the end of it, what is it that I've achieved? at the end of the day. Staff trained to enhance higher order thinking skills. Curriculum 
which will have taught curriculum and which will have assessed curriculum. How you will assess it? So the more students develop skills in critical thinking, evaluating, interpreting, problem solving, and also they are talking about systematic analysis of your curriculum. I want you to see what it is for you to drive to the right standard. Training by Dr. Mrs. Vandana Lula on standards and benchmarks of IB. Which are there, especially in the DB, it is very clearly given example of international mindedness and TOK. You have to mention the standard in your unit plan. True webinar gave a presentation to students across India on building young entrepreneurs. And what are the skills required to outshine in the global world? If you really think that any product that has flourished in this country or world over, it's because of the strategy that we use. We adopt and apply the best strategies that make a business successful. And the best part about making a business successful and to be a great successful business manager is to think of something that competitors never thought of. And I give my own example. We were the first school in this city to be an international school. Mr. Stewart, CIS Accreditation Inspector, trained for our international school staff on designing outstanding classrooms, how to observe lessons matched with global standards, focused on teaching and learning, and progress of the learner. Workshop by Mrs. Rekha Bajaj on implementing interactive strategies in the classroom to engage students. We are proud of constantly making and breaking the news, creating waves in the educational arena. NDTV for highlighting our vision of iPad usage. A small research in the school as to one class using iPad and the other class not using iPad and we found there was a difference in academic. Zoom Planet Bollywood with Salman Khan. Padar is always in the news for the right reasons. Our director in conversation with Mr. Shah Khan highlighting the importance of Kidzania that educates students through real-life role-play experiences. And how important is fun in education? Education is a combination of entertainment and education. Until and unless you don't add fun to the learning process, it's no longer interesting for today's children. So you'll see a lot of uh, teaching techniques. You'll see a lot of technology into the classrooms. And when I think back of my days, we went to a class where there was just plain blackboards and four walls but today you will see there's a huge interactive board children get an opportunity to drag drop work in group groups and definitely try and learn things more with interaction and collaboration and enjoy learning there are rap songs which I didn't have during my time and uh, when we talk about learning also, you will find children challenging the teachers, asking questions like, why do we burp? Learning and teaching has changed drastically in today's times. Our effort has borne fruit as we were commended as the top school in India by Hindustan Times, Educational World and Digital Learning. But our international school always maintains high academic standards which are proved year by year through outstanding results with students shining as world and India toppers. Dr. Mrs. Vandana Lulla was awarded by the Vice Chancellor Professor Lezek and the Chief Executive CIE Mr. Michael O'Sullivan. This fairy tale has a sequel to follow. Welcome to our new abode. We are very fortunate that Pudar International School has moved to two best locations of Bandra, Kar, 
uh, one primary school at the linking road and the secondary school at tsv road car both buildings have good infrastructure with amazing classrooms where children can get engaged in their learning a uh, good scientific inquiry into the science labs uh, research work in the computer labs and spaces for children to move around in the campus i feel very privileged and very happy to be the first one in the new school premises everything is new and it feels like a new life altogether having vandana ma'am shaina ma'am and all my lovely teachers as my second mom and my classmates as my second family classroom we have gives us a lot of positive vibes it is airy and it is bright i wish we would have the whole school for us forever and ever we have less number of students in our classes because of which the teachers are able to give personal attention to each child feel like a queen and the school is my palace We have a lot of fun with our lectures, dance where we are practicing for annual day, PE where we get a run around on the terrace, skip and skate, and UOI where we do a lot of activities, each of them in different rooms. I am learning a lot of new things here and I can't wait until the other classes come along, though I will miss the feeling of owning the school. My abode is a place where the romance of learning takes place. Let us continue to rewrite education once again.